Hello, welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 Ps, which we're hunting through, looking for those alphabet 10 Ps. Ideally, we want some 2019 dated ones because we've never completed a 2019 book. We have got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and M, N, O, R, T, U, V, and X. So, still seven left to go, but... Uh, we might be looking for those forever because they're so hard, rare and scarce to find. We've got uh, a 2018 book which we started for the second time and we are one coin off of finishing this book. We did H for the Houses of Parliament. I think the first book we got stuck on G. So at least we are stuck on a different letter. But uh, yep, 25 out of the 26 letters of the alphabet found. Let's see what we can get from these bags. Okay then, whilst the hunt is ongoing, we're going to be going through some of the comments that have been left on my videos recently. First one comes from Jermaine, who says, Very disappointed in you, bro. You came to my part of town and didn't even let me know. Didn't get me the opportunity to introduce you to the man dem. Slash have a drink, catch up, show you about nothing. Uh, Big Chris, you know, KMT. Uh, maybe in the next life then. So this is in regard to my uh, trip to uh, London. Uh, for my the week of my birthday uh, where I went to all about and uh, I made some videos whilst I was down there I must admit, I didn't tell anyone like, really that I was going there um, other than friends and family and obviously the people I work with uh, it wasn't so much like a trip like I've done in the past where I've met up with other coin tubers it was really to have a little bit of a, a break for myself uh, so that, that's why I didn't uh, announce to anyone at all um, there, there's talks of potentially doing something uh, at Kew Gardens as sort of a group of uh, coin tubers and inviting viewers to come along to that as well but uh, um, that was more uh, downtime for me which uh, is very much needed at such certain points but uh, I apologize uh, and maybe next time we're, if we uh, go to London as a big group uh, that'll be the time to do it. Uh, Wibble ZV3CS says watching one of your videos is all it's taken to start collecting. Well it's a very kind comment to make and it blows my mind that um, the amount of people that have uh, have uh, cottoned onto one of my videos uh, with no prior or very little prior interest into coin collecting and that's been the impetus for them to start collecting i think that's really cool because uh, the more people collecting the better it is for all collectors i think um yeah that means that there are more people looking around for commemorative coins to take out from circulation but there's more people for us to talk to about coins and share the hobby that we we all love and enjoy uh trail for buddy more 53 says do you, will, uh, blah, blah, blah. do you think they will strike any of the two pound coins now King Charles is king? Also, do you think there will be a uh, there will be a coin in King Charles' favourite uncle Mountbatten, or does he have any influence in that? It's a good question. Um, so we know that the monarch, the king now, has to sign off on the coin designs um, and can get involved uh, discussing. Uh, issues with them so for example the Queen there was there it's only the one occasion um, when she was presented the design for the silver Jubilee crown uh, she pointed out that uh, the way that she'd been depicted riding the horse was incorrect uh, so some changes were made to reflect how she would actually ride the horse so the king has some impact uh, can I guess refuse uh, to uh, sign off a coin or can give uh, can give an indication that something needs to be changed but in terms of suggesting a design suggesting something specific to celebrate i'm not 100 percent sure on that uh, that'd be kind of interesting do i think any of the two pound coins will be restruck now that charles is king depends what you mean by that if you mean older designs restruck with the king's portraits on it no um i don't think so uh, unless uh, unless we have uh, some sort of celebration set like in 2019 for the 50 years of the 50p um they 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 won't just restrike the existing coins to go out in circulation we've already got just with the king's portrait uh, i wouldn't have thought um i think with charles king now there's probably an interest to get more of his coins out into circulation so i think there might be a driving force as to um we need to get some more 50ps to 2p coins 20p coins all the different denominations struck with the king's portrait so they can get more widespread in amongst circulation because although some have gone into circulation now and some are going into circulation as a proportion of those already in circulation is very very small so uh, i think that uh, it could be i hope it's an impetus for them to strike more coins for circulation obviously that's all dependent on the requirements from banks and cash centers to circulate coins if there's no uh, demand for additional coinage then no additional coinage will be struck but uh, 
I'd like to think that they, they want sort of as part of the of, of being king now uh, to get his coins uh, far and widespread. Um, although I must admit that is quite a cool idea to the restrike sets that's just come to mind because the 2019 50 years of 50 p's they were restruck they had different portraits of the queen from some of the original portraits on it uh, given that it was released much later if say for the 60th anniversary of the 50 p or the 55th anniversary of the 50 p if they were to again restrike some old designs say a q gardens 50 p how cool would that be to have one of those q gardens 50 p's with the king's portrait um as sort of a collector's piece so uh, maybe there's something to suggest to the Royal Mint do the best of um, Queen Elizabeth's coinage uh, just with the King on the obverse this time. I quite like that idea actually. If anyone's working at the Royal Mint and steals that idea, I want credit. <laughs> uh, Mandy Whitten says, uh, "You, uh, you that you what? You they are, co you they are common. I very seen any of, only seen only the most." of the ones you have in your hand and I am 70. I think that's, you say they're common but you have, haven't have seen many of the ones in my hand and you're 70. Um, okay, I, I'm, I'm not sure um, the relevance of, of, of your age as to if you're 70 you should have seen more commemorative coins. I guess maybe you've had more time to look through coins over time but uh, uh, all I can say is uh, the common coins are common because there's lots of them made and you're more likely to find them than others. It doesn't mean uh, that if you go to your bank for the first time and get a bag of uh, 50p's, uh, uh, 10 pounds worth of 50p's, uh, that there won't be a Q Gardens because there very much could be. You could you could you could totally break the law of averages and find a Q Gardens in your first bag of coins. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that's what your question was anyway. Dale Walker says the 2021 Britannia that you saw being minted. I wonder if they only minted coins for coin sets and not for general circulation. Uh, so they certainly did mint some for the uh, annual coin sets. They did come out and were available to purchase. Um, I would disagree with your uh, assumption that they weren't minted for general circulation because the mintage figures come out for the circulating coins for 2021 in terms of the mintage figures of how many were minted to go into circulation made for our change. Uh, that has been announced and is public knowledge. There's just not the six million that were minted ready to go out into circulation. The problem is they've been made for circulation um, what the, the way it works is the raw mint has a like a big warehouse room, their long store room, um, so they want to keep a supply of enough denominations so that if the banks and the cash centers say, right, we need some two pound coins, they've already got them minted, so they're ready to shift out, then they can mint more coins to replace the ones taken from their stock room. Um, because it'd be no good the, the the banks and the cash centers saying, oh, we need some £2 coins, we're already got £2 coins. And they're like, okay, well, we are already minting these coins and those coins and some coins for other our other international customers. Um, uh, you, we can get them to you in six months. Uh, that's too late. They've got to have a stock of them. Uh, so it's whenever that stock runs out um, or more is demanded from that stock, that's when they'll start filtering out. And it's not always first in, oh, first in, first out. Um, it, it, sometimes uh, they have their stockpile of 50 bees, for instance, um, and they're all, uh, they've decided we're going to mint the Pride 50 p and put them into circulation, or the Memorial 50 p and put it into circulation, or the Coronation 50 p and put it into circulation. But we don't want that joining the back of the queue. Uh, we want those out in circulation now, so mint those and we'll take them as soon as they're ready. So that can happen as well. So I hope that somewhat explains it. Uh, Jim Karner says the 2021 Britannia is the new Benjamin Bunny rotation era. They don't exist. I, I somewhat agree with you. In fact, I've, now that I've found three Benjamin Bunny rotation errors and no 2021 Britannias, I do wonder if I'm actually going to finish. I, I said it as a joke that I would be, I would finish the current two pound coin book before I saw a 2021 Britannia in circulation. But I'm starting to think that might actually happen, which is quite worrying. Mary Kane says, great video, lots of new coins. I just got my Shirley Bassey coins yesterday. Bit disappointed in the colored one. Um, I must admit, I like the Shirley Bassey five pound coin. I think it's not as good as the original three, maybe even four. Um, what I really like about the first three, especially, uh, and to some extent the Who one as well. So the Elton John, David Bowie, Queen, and to some extent the Who. You could look at that coin visually if even if you remove the names so Elton John, David Bowie, Queen, who whatever, remove the names of the artists, the bands, or whatever it happens to be, it's still recognizable as oh, well obviously that's Elton John. Well obviously that's David Bowie, obviously this is Queen. 
when the Rolling Stones came out, if you removed the Rolling Stones and you just looked at that coin, uh, I don't think that screams the Rolling Stones individually. Um, whereas the Shirley Bassey one, I think, is much more clearer that is Shirley Bassey. Uh, there's lots of elements in the design I really like. I like the um, uh, Bond theme tunes that she sang. I really like the little dragon in the design. So I, I think it's a cleverer design than we've seen previously. Right, we're going to wrap up with one more question then from Makamula says, I was talking to a coin collector who showed me a reply from the Royal Mint to someone who was asking about the possibility of the Windrush being circulated. The Royal Mint said it was not going into circulation. So yeah, unfortunately that's the way it does look with that, with that coin, which is surprising because um, I, I would have probably ranked that as the number one coin going, well, going to go into circulation, um, other than maybe the Coronation 50p. Um, so... I, I'm very, very surprised it hasn't because the Windrush 50p came about on the advice of the Windrush Commemoration Committee. I always struggle saying that; it's too many big words. Um, that they would mint, they should mint and circulate coins celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Windrush generation um, as part of the ongoing celebrations for that. Uh, so I was very, so I was very surprised to find out that it looks like it may not go into circulation. But again, it's all down to how many coins are. Uh, required to go out into circulation and if this year not many need to go out in circulation then we probably won't see an awful lot of them. What I would like to see from the Royal Mint um, because I think it does really hurt coin collecting making so many coins that don't go into circulation. It turns off existing collectors, it reduces the pool of exciting coins to find um, if it's projected we need 5 million coins this year just divvy that up between all the coins you've got planned to come out because they know three four years in advance what they're going to be minting that year um, so the Star Wars 50ps would have done so great in circulation Harry Potter the dinosaurs there have been so many really cool coins and I wonder if maybe there's concern sometimes that if a coin's out in circulation why would someone then buy a commemorative one uh, uh, why would they spend 11 pounds on a BU one if they can get one in their change for free and I, I, that's the only rationale that comes to mind for me and I think that's the totally the wrong way to look at it. I think if you look at the Kew Gardens 50p, um, because that circulated coin is so rare and hard to find, the BU ones, the proof ones, the silver proof ones, um, they are massively inflated in their value because that's a rare circulating coin that everyone's looking for. Um, and it'd be the same for other coins. If So if they were to say, oh, we actually only need 10 million coins this year, and they've got 10 different 50p designs um, planned, a mintage of a million is quite a low amount um, and would be quite hard to find. And I think that would really bump up the price of those BU coins and make more people want to buy them. So I think that the the way to look at it is that a rare, co a rare circulating coin will be more valuable and would make uh, collectors more inclined to go and buy that BU one. So um, if that's not the rationale, then that's so be it. But that's my little rant and I've massively overrun that last little rant. So what we're gonna do now is return to the coins. Well then, no Alphabet 10 Ps unfortunately, but as I keep saying, they are very, very rare to find. But we did get a couple of territories. Uh, this is Gibraltarian 2015. Put there, can focus on it. Quite cool, the little partridge. And then Jersey, what we've got, 2010, 2014, and 2007. So a nice little um, mixture of different years on those, which is always nice. So hopefully next time we'll get a little bit more luckier with the Alphabet 10 Ps. But as ever, links are in the description to my coin collection Discord server. If you want to come over and join me over there, there's also links to my other social media channels. Uh, the PA box stretch you can write into and of course the Britannia Coin Company who I work for as my day job making videos for them so please do check that out as well. All it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.